I want to talk about uh, dualism and specifically uh, the good and evil uh, dualism. Now, the context of this, just to give it a little context, is I, I did get blocked a while ago, a week or so ago, two weeks maybe, by Patterns and Chaos. He just had enough. And it was an interesting point at which he had enough because basically I'd acknowledged everything about evil. Okay, that we could call somebody evil, uh, that we should react to them as though it was evil. But I, I denied that there was an essential quality of evil. I say that evil is just a shorthand for just how detrimental and how willfully detrimental a person's actions are against his fellow humans, possibly against uh, other animals, against living things. So to me, functionally, I've agreed with everything I had to say. Evil is a problem in the world and we've got to solve it. I only disagree that there's a fundamental idea of evil or that evil uh, you know that an object is inherently evil as if everything coming out of that entity that person is going to be evil why is that not good enough I don't understand that now uh, his answer is that uh, such as it is I mean he blocked me which means you stop giving answers but uh, before that his answer basically was that I'm giving aid and comfort uh, to evil by not calling it an essential fundamental like substance to me, this is exactly the same argument as saying that since you don't believe in a, in a traditional Christian God that's going to punish you in hell, that you are giving aid and comfort to evil. People think, well, that's the strongest way to fight evil is to say some sky daddy is going to punish you, right? That's the strongest way. And it would be the strongest way if it were true. If we were looking at all the, the true interpretations of reality and that was true, then yeah, that would be strongest. But since it's false and it's full of bullshit, it's actually weak because people will come along and doubt that there even is evil at all because as soon as they realize that there's no bearded God threatening them, then that was their reason for being against evil and they no longer have a reason. And it's the same thing with essential characteristics. When people realize there isn't an essential characteristic, then you will have robbed them. And that is inevitable because people do eventually find out the truth. So we can't judge whether to believe in evil or not based on, oh, this makes us, gives us a stronger argument against evil. No, we are limited to whatever the real arguments against bad behavior are. Okay, we're limited to that. And really, if you have somebody that agrees with you on all the actions that need to be taken to fight somebody you're both calling evil, and the only difference is whether you believe in an essentialism of evil or whether you just believe that this person's actions are detrimental and require action, you ought to realize you, you agree with the important part. You think that, no, I also have to believe in the essentialism of evil or I'm soft on evil. I mean, that's just, that's just ridiculous. Like all fundamentalism, it's just ridiculous to expect that kind of agreement. And I will describe you again. I do not need to judge people and then act that way. I'm judging their actions. And if their actions are actionable, meaning if they call for an action from me, then that's quite enough you know, for a moral system. Because the point is, I'm going to know when I have to get up and do something about something wrong or when it's not that big of a deal. You know, calling something evil is really, you know, another way of saying that, listen, this person's behavior is actionable. You can't just ignore it. It requires uh, ramifications on that person. It requires defense uh, on the part of the rest of us. And that is actionable. Now, you want to say, oh, well, not only is it actionable, but somehow a god or the universe or essential characteristics of a dualist uh, nature of good versus evil, uh, these require you in some metaphysical sense. There's no reason for you to demand that. If I, in a material sense, in the real world, realize I need to do something about that evil, that's good enough. That's all. We're just trying to have a, a, a morality that says why these actions are, are actionable, why we have to do something about them. Um, and so we had no important difference, according to me. I do believe I'm correct, and you're wrong about qualities. Qualities do not adhere into things in themselves that we never have access to. We attribute them to. So I think I'm correct in that. But that is not a material difference when we're talking about fighting evil in the world. The only question is, will you fight evil or will you come up with an excuse to forgive evil? Now, I'm not into forgiving what we all call evil at all. 
So I think it's pretty clear that um, that it's 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 ridiculous to condemn me uh, based on uh, not believing in your dualist, uh, you know, semi-deistic ideas of uh, of value. Um, a person's actions are to be judged. Their essential character is essentially beyond us. It's beyond them. We'll never know the essential characters of other things or even of ourself. So uh, what we can focus on is behavior and what to do about behavior, uh, how to behave ourselves in reaction to other people's behavior.